What's up, gamers? It's Peyton. And Kaden. And today we're going to teach you how to make an AFK fish farm for Java Edition. We're doing it on Xbox, but it won't work on Xbox, but it will work for Java. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, ding down that notification bell, and let's get right into it. Okay, so you're going to start off with two chests. We're going to take a hopper, slap it down on the chest. You want it to be like inserting into them as you can see right there you're going to take a oak fence oh, oops you want to be crouched for that and then a pressure plate and set that on top whoops there we go just takes a couple tries sometimes and then you're going to place down a bucket of water on the fence so it runs into that you're going to take a note block, take a another note block, oops, and put a iron trap door off the side of that. Then delete that block so you don't really need it. And there you go. That's basically it. It's actually fairly simple. The materials are easy to get because you only need iron for the pressure plates and the trap door. Or if you can use whatever type of trapdoor, then you could just use wood. Mm -hmm. Generally, in Java Edition, you'd want to stand a little bit farther back, and you don't really hear the noise as much. But when you get an item, you will see your fishing rod come back to you and like relaunch again. So that's how you know that you got an item. Oh, like right there. We got an it item. It should have worked. I might have gotten the chest. Yeah. Or it's in the hopper. But yeah, that's basically what it'll look like. And you'll get all sorts of things enchantment books, leads, armor pieces, enchanted fish. bows, enchanted fishing rods, fish, <laughs> name tags, all kinds of stuff, which are all really good to get. And then, like, if you're on a survival world with friends and you were to have, like, a market system, you could easily sell a lot of those items for, like, diamonds or gold or whatever. And or you can just use them. The items will be better depending on what type of fishing rod you have. If it's mm -hmm. enchanted with like luck of the sea or something, yeah, and it will give you more chances for better enchantments and items that are more expensive mm -hmm. in the game. If you have lure and lure to luck of the sea three on and on breaking three, uh, you can get all of those on separate fishing rods, and then you can just combine them all together in an anvil, and then just make one really overpowered fishing rod. And then if you get mending books, I would recommend putting mending on your fishing rod first. Just so that way you don't have to continuously repair it, repair it with anvils, because that takes a lot of experience. But like when you catch something in your fish in your AFK fish farm, it'll give you experience, which will also put up mending on your um, fishing rod. So it's just it's just really good. But yeah. I think that's it. Um, fishing rods do break quite fast if you do just to keep spamming it. So mm. you might need a couple of fishing rods for this to work because otherwise they would break quite fast. And also we need enchanted ones. They would work the best. At least that's what I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anything else? Nope. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more content. Like the video if you liked it. Comment down below what you want to see next. And if you liked the video, ding down that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Adios.